Hey guys, so I'm going to be bringing you a multi haul today Dollar Tree, Kmart, Goodwill. But as the title uh, suggests, I am indeed off my meds. I stopped taking my medication. I went to the psychiatrist today. I got a new med to try, which I haven't gotten yet. But what I wanted to say about that is that when you're taking medication that affects your brain chemistry, uh, it can change you. And then if you also stop taking it, it can also change you. So I have been going through mood swings, um, ravenous eating, just the works. And I stopped taking them because they were messing me up hardcore. And as a side effect of that, it kind of affects your decision making. So while I did say I was done shopping, I'm not going to go shopping anymore this month. I went shopping a lot. So let me go ahead and show you what I got from the Dollar Tree. None of this can be blamed on me. I blame the medication. If I bought anything crazy or silly, that's why. Okay, so the first thing I got was uh, <laughs> good old bleach from the Dollar Tree. This, uh, this is all the Dollar Tree stuff, guys. I'm not going to be editing or anything, so let's just talk about the Dollar Tree right now. This is bleach. Nothing exciting. I got one of these things too, one of those argon oil re uh, repair things for your hair. I really do like this. This really helps keep my hair soft and manageable and it helps. I, I put it in the shower, I leave it on and stuff and then I, I rinse it off. I haven't had any of that for a while and I like it. Um, I got some clips for the chip bags. I wanted to get the duckies, but you got more for your dollar with this. You got five as opposed to the three for the duckies. My bird is going insane because I've been gone all day and he's like, Pay attention to me. I never had the Carmex in a tube. I usually get it in the squishy tube and this is like the clicker tube, like a chapstick. So I got that. Um, nothing exciting you guys until I'll get to the exciting stuff. I got two of these. I've been having a craving for spicy noodle type things. So I got a couple of those to try. Never had them before. Got the sensitive toothpaste. What is this? 4.5 ounces. I have sensitive gums, so lucky me, I get to use the sensitive stuff. Luckily for me, the Dollar Tree offers sensitive toothpaste. Uh, probably shouldn't use this. Maybe my husband will. I don't know. But I saw the I saw the Crest 3D White, much smaller bottle. It's only 2.5 ounces, so you get two ounces less. But it's the name brand, and it's supposed to whiten your teeth. I don't know. What I'm gonna be doing, and I watched cheap crafty girl do this in one of her vlogs and she's mentioned it in a couple of her videos is I'm going to be dipping my toothbrush in hydrogen peroxide and she, and I got the one that was open how lucky and so it spilled all over the bag even though there's the the seals on it that's strange it's luckily it's just hydrogen peroxide but one of my bags got completely wet from this <laughs> see lucky me but she uses this to whiten her teeth and it's a super cheap alternative and like she said and I looked she says that a lot of the whitening uh like toothbrushes tooth toothbrushes toothpaste and stuff like that will have hydrogen peroxide as the main ingredient and it's cheap so why are we paying all this money for this expensive whitening stuff so I'm gonna try it and see and uh this bottle is 32 fluid ounces but I also picked up this bottle because it has a spray top. Now you only get six ounces, but what I'm gonna do obviously is I'm gonna spray my, tooth my toothbrush with this. And then when this empties, I'll go ahead and refill it. I do have other hydrogen peroxide in the house, but I wanna keep that specifically for, you know, cuts and bruises and bruises. Seriously, you guys, I am so off today. Stupid medication. I just blame everything on that. But yeah. Uh, Cuts, scrapes, stuff like that, I keep separate from. This is gonna be specifically for tooth toothbrush in the bathroom. So I got that. And then uh, also not exciting. I never find anything good like you guys do, you guys. Um, but I did pick up two Colgate toothbrushes and then the double pack from AIM. I see sometimes you guys find like four pack from like Reach or something like that, something crazy awesome. And I never see that ever. And I'm always looking. One of the, one of the things I found that was new to me is I usually get those tubs of wipes that are either in the yellow or green jug, uh, jugs, whatever you call them, tubs. And I think you get 25 wipes. I think they're called Good and Clean, and I believe they, they might be the Dollar Tree brand. I'm not sure, but I found this today. These are ready wipes. 
and you get 30 in here. So I thought that was a good deal. And uh, I use these a lot all over the place. So I went ahead and picked that up. I also picked up these uh, things to stuff bags and, and uh, baskets and stuff like that for the holidays. I have a bunch of these, but I picked up some more. And then I got white and I got red with the silver highlighted ones in there. And these are actually going to go in a box. I got this box and it's really cute. It has a little deer on it. It says Mary. And then on the sides, they're all decorated. The backs, the same thing. And then when you open it, open. It says Mary. It's the same thing, but it's cute, right? And what I'm what I'm going to do with this is put obviously make this look really nice. My mom is paying me to uh, package up four soaps for a gift for her to give to someone else. So I'm going to package up my soaps, put this in here, and then place my soaps inside, and it'll be a nice little gift set for whoever she's getting that to. And she wanted me to go ahead and pick up all the stuff that she needed to make it look nice and so i did and better place in the dollar tree right and when i was seeing this stuff i also saw which I'll get the box later these tissue papers so i got this one and it's got green and then it has this plaid one which is really nice very festive and then and not too girly you know because i think some of these gifts are going to men and i don't want them to be too girly but I also found this poinsettia one and I thought it was really pretty and then it's also green as well. So I am really collecting the tissue paper assortment. Okay, so the other thing I got, paper straws, these are for my birds, nothing exciting, just something safe for them to chew up. And then I picked up these stickers. Now with the stickers, I do friend mail and giveaways and stuff like that and I like, I'm not a crafty person, but I do like to decorate my envelopes and my boxes with stickers. But if you're sending them, uh, you can't put puffy stickers or anything that's going to get snagged on its way to its destination. So I'm trying to find more flat stickers that I'm going to decorate my boxes and stuff with. And I saw, and there weren't too many at the Dollar Tree I went to today, but I saw these and I thought they were really cool. Like they weren't too childish in my opinion. Like some of them are like, they just seem like they're for little kids, you know? But these ones are just animals and they're like arctic animals and i thought they were really cute and it says you get 37 but a lot of those are just little snowflakes and stuff but the ones like this whale i think is amazing i just sorry about the glare it's like it's holographic type of material but it's huge so i'll be sending that to someone i know will appreciate that um the next things i got were let me just show you the rest of the christmas stuff this is going to go to my husband's uncle and it's a really nice bag it's got like a 3d type of pop out christmas tree stuff on the one side the other side is plain and the side of the bag looks like this with the snowflakes and the holly mistletoe i don't know what that is what is that but um i have gotten to become very appreciative of the dollar tree that's my dog <laughs> the dollar tree gift bags because if you go to other stores it is amazing that they the prices they want for these things and nine times out of ten what do you think is going to happen to this after it gets opened it's probably going to get thrown away right so why pay six or seven dollars when you can just pay a dollar unless you're my mother who keeps every single bag and then reuses them so you're more than likely if you give her a bag at some point you're going to get that bag back but other than that i mean a dollar i love it and then what's going to go in here is this box i found this box and i thought it was super cute and it has random sayings like noel holidays merry christmas and the little deer which i love and then the top has this like I don't know what you call it like this cotton shoestring type material it's like a bow the inside is it's just red but i'm going to be wrapping some of my soaps and giving this to my husband's uncle who has been asking me for soap so i told him christmas time it also has a tag which i accidentally bent it says noel on it i thought it would go good with that bag and then i got these two bows 
which I think I'm going to put on top of presents because I think that would look really, really nice. And the back it has like a like a wire, I don't know what you call that, garbage bag tie, that's what I call them, I don't know. But uh, so that's gonna go on top of the presents too. So uh, the other thing I got at the Dollar Tree, I have two, top, two Dollar Tree around here. I skipped going to the one because I was tired from shopping all day. I went to the other one. I wanted to get the Haribo gummy bears because I'm currently obsessed. They didn't have them. So I'm going to go with the Coastal Bay gummy bears. But you know what? I know they're not going to be the same. The texture is going to be different. I know it. And that's, I'm all about texture. I don't know about you guys, but, but I'm going to try them because that's what they had there. I also got some sugar-free fruit chews. Uh, I seen somebody haul this before, Haribo butt berries, and I wanted to go ahead and try those. I'm really fat. Like I'm getting fatter and fatter every day. I had a horrible time going clothes shopping because if you know me, you know I have just gotten a second job. It's just a seasonal retail job, but I didn't have any um, business casual clothes because I don't wear that kind of stuff and I'm having the hardest time shopping. It doesn't help when you're fat <laughs> and people keep telling me, oh, you're not fat. Trust me. That's why I wear oversized clothes because I hide my fat pouch, which is my cupcake baby. I have a cupcake baby. I'm not pregnant, but I have a cupcake baby. And so I'm trying to pick better choices, but it's really hard if you know what I'm saying. I found this. I don't know if it's any good for me. I found it at the Dollar Tree and it sounded interesting. It's got chocolate in it, so it can't be that good for you. But it also has other things in it like cranberries and soybeans and uh, nuts and stuff. So I thought I'd try it. Why not? And then I also got honey roasted sunflower seeds. And I know these are fattening, but it is a good fat for you as opposed to a stupid fat, I guess. So I got those. The other thing, the thing that I am the most excited about from Dollar Tree, although you may not agree, I have never seen these there before. And if you know me, uh, you know that I like to wear face masks, face sheet masks, clay masks, mud masks, anything on your face. I really like the strip off things that you just rip your off your face. Those are, do you want to come here? So come and say hi, come here. Um, I'm actually expecting a huge order from AliExpress, my first order ever, and uh, I ordered like like 27 items, and half of those are facial products from you know Korean type beauty products to try. And so when I saw this at the Dollar Tree, I was kind of excited. Um, I don't know how good it's going to be, and it is a Greenbrier brand. There's my dog; he's a mastiff. Um, his name's Dozer. Dozer, I love you, but don't so much stuff. Okay, I, you know what? I was going to try to make this video short. It's not happening. No. Anyways, uh, I found this one, and this is a grape seed mask. This is, I want to say it is like, like mud, but I, it doesn't say on it, on here, what exactly is in it. Water and aloe and stuff. So I guess it's not really mud mask, but I think what you do, it's like, it's not a sheet mask. So you have to rub it on. There's my cat and then wash it off. So this one is grape seed, and then this one is green tea. Now these are a dollar a piece, so I don't know that that's a good deal. I just wanted to try them because I'm always excited to try new things. And so I'm going to try these while I wait for my other order to come in of all that stuff that I got. I will be making a haul video, so if you're interested, keep an eye out for that one to come out. So then I had to go to Kmart because I'm on the lookout for business casual appropriate clothing and I don't have any of that. I also have bone spurs in my foot I recently found out, which is common in the elderly. So I'm like fat and old now. I feel it, I feel it. But anyways, I went to Kmart, a friend of mine suggested why don't you go to Kmart and try to check out their shoes and I checked out their shoes and they didn't have anything. So I was like downtrodden because yesterday I went to four different stores and I found nothing. So anyways, I found, I was passing the clearance rack 
there were like shoes haphazardly all over the place. There were only two of these boxes. Uh, is Baby Fat New York, whatever that is. And I do like the kitty. Uh, and it just so happened that one of them was in my size and they happened to be all black. Will I get away with being able to wear these there? I don't know. But I figure it should be okay. I was checking out the girls that worked there the other day to see what kind of shoes they were wearing because I honestly have no idea what's okay to be worn as business casual and what isn't. Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> this is what I wear. I wear hoodies and jeans. But um, I found these. These were only $10. On the box, there's a clearance and it says $10. And then underneath it, there's one that says $14.99. So I'm assuming that these shoes were probably considered $20. So I got them for 10. And even if I can't wear them to work, I'll still wear them. And I think $10 for a basic black shoe that, you know, not bad. I'm trying to save money, but in the meantime, I'm spending a lot of money. So I don't really see how that works. All right, last thing, I went to, the, to Goodwill. The other thing one of my other friends mentioned was if you're looking for shoes and business casual type stuff, why don't you go to Goodwill? And it's like, yeah, why don't I ever go to Goodwill? I never, I go there like twice a year, maybe. Do you guys go? Do you guys go thrifting? It's kind of fun. Like I do appreciate it. Um, I thought the prices were a little high for Goodwill, but I know they have sales and stuff, but you know, I don't follow Goodwill, but my dog is like, Hey, what about me? Oh, this is going to be a 20 minute long video. All right. Hey, kid. My cat is staring at me. She wants me to feed her. So uh, I, I'm shopping for my husband for Christmas and I'm not showing you that stuff because I don't think you care. But I will say that I got a really good deal on this. My husband works in the construction industry and um, I was going to give these to him for, his, for Christmas, but I'm like, nah, they're used. I'll just give them to him when he comes home. So I got two just plain or neon orange shirts and one just plain neon green shirt and they were $3 a piece and they're in really good condition. I want to say they were new, like nobody ever wore them because anyone that wears these kind of clothes is going to destroy them like my husband will. So if they were worn, they weren't worn very much. They were three bucks a piece and they were in my husband's size, which is 2X. If you guys ever have to shop for someone that is a larger size, you know it can be difficult to find that size. Uh, so I was really happy to find these for $3 a piece. The only thing I could find at Goodwill, even though I tried on a bunch of cute stuff, both for just regular wear and for the job was this. And I don't know what I'm going to put it with because I don't like to layer. I like to just have one thing and put it on. Uh, but I'm going to have to learn to be like a girl or something uh, because I thought this was really cute. And I'm sure that I could find something to wear underneath this. It smells like a thrift store. You, ever, you know that smell that they have? I don't know. Is it just me? They have like this weird smell. I'm going to have to wash this. Those are, do you smell that? It's not just me, right? Like it smells like a thrift store, doesn't it? <laughs> My bird goes, uh-huh. Well, anyways, I thought it was cute. I don't know what you call this, but I got it for $5 and I like the material. And I'm sure with like a little like camisole or something. I don't know. So I got that. And then the last thing I got for $1.99 was the book of totally useless information, which is perfect for me because I always have questions, like stupid questions that nobody knows the answer to. So I'm hoping this book will help me. So things like, uh, why do some people get freckles? Why are beer and soda sold in six packs? I'm going to know all of this stuff, you guys, in like a week or so. Uh, what is a whirling dervish? Why is the moon covered with craters, but not the earth? So just things like that, that I'm probably going to end up putting this in my bathroom and reading it, you know, during me time. I, I had so much more I wanted to tell you guys, you know, like I think about what I'm going to say in my videos and then nothing. Yeah. So that's my haul, you guys. I hope you liked it. If you didn't, just blame the meds. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to blame the meds and move on. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're still here, 
Um, if you're still watching, and I'm not gonna advertise this, but I am considering doing a, another giveaway when I go Black Friday shopping online. I'm gonna look for you guys and see if I can find something interesting that I can send you. The last big giveaway video that I did, I advertised that puppy everywhere. I went to all the people that I knew on Facebook, or not Facebook, on YouTube, and I told them about my giveaway and I was like, come to my page and enter the giveaway, you know, it's free. I was kind of disappointed. I didn't have a lot of interest in the giveaway. I don't know if it was because I, nobody knows me on YouTube. I don't know if it was the product itself because it was skincare stuff, kind of like this stuff. And uh, anyways, I did have a winner obviously, but I, I'm, I, I'm tired of going out of my way for people. I know YouTube is like that, you have to like, mingle and you have to get, put yourself out there, but I'm tired of it. So now I'm just going to uh, appreciate the subbies that I do have that do watch my my long ass videos. So if you're watching this, uh, keep an eye out. It's going to be a hidden giveaway. I'm tired of trying to muster up attention. So this is for you guys. This is to so to celebrate you and my appreciation for you watching my videos. If you're watching this still and it's 22 minutes in, I, God love you. Thank you so much for sticking with me. And I will look for something. If you have any ideas, let me know. It might be a gift card. I might just do a gift card just so you guys can do whatever you want. But keep an eye. It's not going to be advertised. It'll be hidden in another video. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I'll see you guys on the YouTube. Bye.